Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add root bone to whatever animation that you download from Mixemo. So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, why we should use that? Why we should have root bone? So in here you can see this animation. Everything looks beautiful. There is a root motion. And in here you can see in a skeleton tree, the heaps is the root bone, right? But if you go to asset detail and in here enable root motion, you can see it stay at top and you can see it, right? It's not look beautiful. But if we add a root bone to this skeleton tree and go to asset detail and enable root motion, no, you can see it looks beautiful, right? No, it looks good. So now if we use it in our project like this, you can see it works fine. And in next video, I want to show you how you can do this stuff. So no, let's just go and in Mixamo, I did search a slide and I did open this. First of all, download a character, whatever character that you want. And after that, download the animation that you want to have, you want to add root bone to it. When you did all of that, put those animations in a folder. So for example, I did create a root folder in it, doesn't matter. You can change the name it, name of it, whatever you want. The run in a slide, you can see this is the animation. No, I have the animation. Let's just go here to go to this GitHub repository and download this plugin. You don't need to know anything about Blender. It's just a plugin that do everything for you automatically. Click on this code, download the zip, put it on desktop or wherever you want. You can see I did put it in here. Now open up the Blender go to edit by the way i'm using blender 3.1 so go to edit go to preferences and in here click on install and install the mixmo converter the zip, the zip file that you download after you install it just search it in here and check this plugin animation mixmo converter and after you done that in here hit n on your keyboard and now you can see there is tool view and now it has mixmo in here just change the option like i have in here don't use z i don't want to use z the transform rotation i don't want to do that the convert single i don't want to do that go to advanced option again i don't want to use z i don't want to apply the rotation and i want to have fixed bind no in input path you should check you should choose the path that you put all the animation that you want to add root bone to it so for example desktop root that i accept and after that click on create a new folder for example here to for an output and i want to call it output right whatever you want to call it it will be okay accept that and click on batch convert no it says one file converted because we just have one file if you have multiple file it will do that as well for you no let's just go to Arial engine and what i want to do i want to go to this new folder in here and drag and drop this one here and it will tell you what the skeleton a skeleton mesh you want to use i want to use this one for example the character that i did download from mixamo at import and now in here, if you open up this animation sequence, you can see if you go to a skeleton tree, there is a root bone here. And if you go to asset detail and enable root motion, everything looks beautiful. And I want to show you how you can use this uh, animation that has root motion with a montage that has motion warping so uh, for example if you want uh, a slide for 10 meter you can use that if you want a slide for 20 meter 30 meter you can do all of that in code not changing the animation you can do all of that with motion warping in animation montages so please please if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye